What up, y'all? Welcome back to Dallas, Texas. It's myself and Ryan Rigged this morning out on the uh, hard water, or partially. We got some fountains in this pond right here, but I'm seeing some foot tracks. I'm seeing some footsteps over on the pond down below. The ice has been real thick. We've had three to four inches plus at a lot of these ponds. Last night was like 17 degrees overnight. It's been cold. Ryan is going to be doing an Academy Ice Fishing Pole Challenge on his channel because the I'm surprised they even sell an ice fishing setup down here. Did not expect that, but I saw it for like nine bucks. Had to pick it up and some uh, night crawlers. Yeah, garlic flavored night crawlers. So. so he's gonna be doing a little bit of a challenge on his channel, and uh, I have really nothing special to showcase for you guys except for the fact that we're ice fishing in Texas, which has really never been done in the past, historically speaking, if I am not mistaken, and may not happen for decades to come, if ever, in the foreseeable future. So we're gonna get out here. It's gonna be above freezing today at some point. I think it's like 27 right now. So the ice starting today is going to begin the process of eliminating itself from the Texas lakes and ponds. We don't want to delay any longer. We want to try and catch some Texas bass, bluegill, catfish. We don't care what hits. We just want to catch some fish through the ice. Let's go ahead and get into it. We just bought a tool from Academy to start things off. This is our auger, if you might say, going to help us get through the ice today. Got some good packaging over there at Academy. Dude, this is feeling so much better than that like machete style knife Eric and I were using the other day. This has got some weight to it. I think we're really going to be able to chop through even the thickest device, but we will find out. They don't sell augers around here, so we're out of luck on that. Yeah. I'm just seeing how thick it is. It's pretty, like it's, well this thing works pretty good, but. Bro, that's. That's the egg, boys. You don't want to go all the way through to the water. You just want to kind of chip away. Yeah, you want to chip away the whole circle because once the water seeps through, it starts splashing on you. You'll get it figured out very quickly, but just saying. All right, first hole is dug. Let's get a line in the water, see how deep it is. I'm just using this little gold spoon Parrot gave me the other day. And hey, kind of hit it as you walk out too. That way you're kind of being safe. Like just make sure, give a couple chops just to make sure it's super thick. <laughs> Ryan's saying, don't forget the towel. It's his first experience. Even though mine was yesterday, I dug like 20 of these holes out with that little machete thing that Parrick had. So, I mean, like <laughs> I almost feel used to it. Uh, everyone in the comments is going to be going crazy. We're not using augers. I'm not using an ice fishing rod. This is like a Shakespeare $10 combo from Walmart. People are going to be having the heyday down there telling us what you should be doing. But we've got uh, what uh, this area of the pond is is considered to be safe ice we got like four inches of solid ice right here like three plus inches of that darker stuff and then got a little snow on top yeah yeah it's looking good man and look at this good vegetation in the pond you can see the grass in there talk about find the grass find the bass ryan rigged ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i forgot to bring all of my hard baits i was going to bring all my like mini clutches that was going to be what i used so i might uh i'll be joining you with a live bait Good. Look at that little tungsten jig. I see you. Okay. Yeah, this this is probably too shallow right here. Ryan says I'm looking for Pike. He made himself a big old hole. <laughs> I do have the deeper sonar in the car. Like I could see the depth. I wonder if I should grab it. Oh, you know what? It might actually just be in my pocket. I gotta set up a live bait rig, anyways. If he don't love you anymore. This is how we do it down in Texas, y'all. We do really need a hole, probably like right in the middle, though. Is there a fountain here? Here we go. Deeper smart sonar. It says deeper is disconnected. Okay, how do I connect to this thing? I don't know if it has a password. I don't remember there being a password. Really don't remember the password. <laughs> this could have went a little better. I realize the deeper is disconnected. That I'm trying to connect it though, y'all. Help me out here. I do my hair toss. Baby, how you been? We're all betting to see what happens first, whether you fall in or you catch a fish. I'd say catch a fish. It's pretty safe. It's like four inches out here. So you guys, what, what, you guys have a tail that you're going to post this to? Uh, yeah, mine is just Weston Smith. Yeah, usually just fishing uh, <laughs> fishing out here on the open water, but not today. But yeah, no, I mean, it's pretty thick. Uh, it, chances are pretty slim of falling in, but I mean, if you venture over to where it looks bad, it might get sketchy. <laughs> Place the bets. <laughs> All right, I think we are connected. Set up your phone, blah, blah, blah. Did that, Wi-Fi, waterproof. Yes, if you have questions, call this number. Sweet. Five feet. Yeah, deeper's working, y'all. Five feet, and it's showing there's a little bit of grass. <laughs> it looks like it's showing like a little bit of grass. That's funny. It's at 57% battery life, but look, check this out, y'all. I actually have a second. Deeper sent me both of these to do like videos on in the past, so I have a second one here. This one might even have a little battery in it, too. So we got two deepers today. <laughs> the Chirp and the Chirp Pro, or the... So, I don't even know. Said it was 5.2, 5.4 feet. Yeah, 
It even shows like a little bit of grass on the bottom. It's pretty crazy. It's going to be very hard to see on your GoPro, but like you see that little layer of green, like it even it like picks up the vegetation for the goofballs out there. It's I think it's, you know, meant to be a beginner huh. sonar. Hey. <laughs> or maybe this is the rookie least, mode. I think depth is the most important thing. Honestly. Yeah, five, so 5.4. So I'm going to go dig a couple more. Just keep that there. If there, uh, Yeah, but I mean, it's like oh, close to freezing. It says 35 and it's influenced by the ice that's next to, I'm sure. I so. Say, so it's probably a little warmer below that. It's like literally about freezing. But if there's any fish that went through, I would definitely like see them i'm gonna i'm gonna search for some deeper water uh the gopros are acting up in these colder temperatures ladies and gentlemen but i put the deeper in the second hole over here and it is five feet but i'm seeing a lot of stuff mid column like two and a half feet i believe there's fish here and i've just thrown down a night crawler just grabbed one out of the live bait rig we got over here definitely there's something moving through right here this is good yeah four and a half feet right here it's not necessarily a bad thing i mean if the whole thing is five feet then that's just as deep as they'll that's as deep as they got i'm gonna try and walk where we've continuously walked already just to be i mean i know it's thick but like there could be some spots so 4.2 not bad at all i'm gonna do a screen recording for you guys that way you can see what's going on on the deeper yeah, see, I think you can either see my worm or something that's dropped down because now you can see there's something in the middle of the column there. It's saying five feet exactly at the moment. It kind of goes back and forth between like 4.9 and 5.2. It's showing we got like 47% battery life left on the deeper. And the temps are currently like 35 degrees. <laughs> but do you see how it kind of almost showcases the grass down there? That's cool. It uh, it picks that up in this mode. I think this is the uh, the, the detailed mode. If I go to basic... What does basic look like? Now it's gonna it's gonna switch over. And apparently I'm also on wide. Yeah, so basic definitely looks a little bit different. I like the detailed mode. It's kinda like it's kinda like a sonar for dummies almost. It, it, it's got a much better look. I'm gonna go back to the detailed. If you go to narrow, it's gonna be much more accurate. You're literally only looking, especially in like four or five feet, you're really not getting much of an angle down at all, I would imagine, right? It's just very narrow. So I'm gonna go back to the wide angle here. And then you can adjust the sensitivity, but things are looking pretty good. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Toss that back over there. And that's kind of like the uh, deeper sonar quick on the water review for you guys out here in Dallas, Texas. All right, y'all. I think we were going to switch locations. Dang, this guy is chilling. He's still lively. God, I don't want to leave. I know they're here. The thing is, like, the water here is, like, pretty clear. And I don't think this is a bad spot. Five more minutes. I don't know. There's so many fish. It's clear. There's grass. Uh, we're in what we believe to be just about the deepest spot because it's all a very similar depth I'm expecting these fish to be roaming and just out of nowhere get a hit. That's what I'm hoping for so Ladies and gents, we are off to the next spot with the S-Wing X pulling through on the hole digging today. Let's go I know you guys saw it kind of like in the intro, but like H2O Express $10 Ice fishing setup arguably better than mine if you're just going to be like hanging out jigging whatever right above the hole, right? Uh, who knows about the line quality now who knows about the quality of all the parts, but <laughs> I mean I'm not doing too much better over here with a 10 or 15 dollar combo by Shakespeare. So yeah, here we are Lake number two Water's looking crystal clear. No, I can't tell Just enjoying a nice little rich cracker break. Yeah, it could be a little sketch. It's definitely gonna be more thin Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna gather my thoughts eat some beef jerky. Oh gosh Hammer falls. I'll get to stepping on the ice here in a second We're thinking axe throwing Axe throwing is probably the way to go. We'll just see if it's thick or if it's just a couple inches. Let's see. Oh, yeah. She's thin. Oh, feeling pretty good. Oh, definitely cracking. Yep, that's fairly thin. That's pretty thin. Am I rolling? Yeah. She's not quite as thick as the last spot, but that's two and a half, uh, three. That's more, man. That's think that's more? One, two, three. Yeah, I'd say three inches. Three or so? Yeah. Not bad. Like, I think right here is pretty deep. Should we put a questionnaire on Instagram? How are we feeling, Instagram? How are we feeling about that? Are we feeling safe or are we feeling like, since it's going to be getting above freezing today just a little bit, we should simmer down in the sunshine? I don't know. I'm, I'm just eager to get a line in, so I'm just going to dabble. What we really need to do is get the sonar out. Did this seem pretty thick right here or no? Slightly deeper, six feet. 6.6, I think we're making a move in the right direction over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that ice is strong enough everywhere. We're checking it as we go. It's like three, three to four in some places though. It's looking pretty good. I don't know, it's below freezing. I mean, it's above freezing now. It couldn't, I wonder if it'll warm from the bottom. That, that's true, but I think it's more about like last night, how it was in the teens. It's just, it just keeps getting thicker and thicker overnight. Today's definitely the last day we'll have an opportunity. 
probably gonna get a bass or a bluegill. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is Texas. I don't know if I trust walking on any ice. That's true. I was out with my buddy yesterday from Chicago, and it's been pretty dadgum thick. I mean, it was like four plus inches at, at one spot yesterday. It's it's uh, definitely safe at that point. Hey, thank you so much. It is now 35 degrees and you can kind of see like as we've created these holes since we don't have an auger and a little bit kind of splashes every time we open one up, that water that's on the surface now that it is not freezing is probably just helping to melt the area around our holes that we have created. So what that means is I should jig effectively so that I don't miss any potential bites I have in this last half an hour. But it means that today uh, it is definitely getting a little bit more unsafe out here. Yesterday when I was fishing with Peric, the water that was kind of like gushing up and out of the hole was just kind of refreezing. It was just uh, much windier and then it was staying at or below freezing just about all day yesterday. Just going to be a little bit more cautious and uh, jig for another 30 minutes or so and call it quits. Meanwhile, this whole family is walking out here on the other side of the lake. I don't expect that to go too well and I've got a phone call coming in so we'll catch up with you on the next update. I just wanted to let you know I'm, I'm headed down to to see if there's a creek that's frozen over there. No way, are you? I'm in the Subaru today which I don't know if is as safe. It seems to be sliding around a little bit more than the truck. The roads are pretty good but I don't know if I should drive all that way. Where are you at? Well, how's it going? Oh, it's terrible. I was debating on moving, but my buddy has like half an hour left, so we're just kind of sticking it out since he's had one bite. He had one rod like dip over, and he's got three setups in the water. So <laughs> we're like, well, maybe we can put something together, but it's not looking too crazy. See ya. Bye. All right, guys, time to make a switch up from the night crawler. He's still lively, and uh, we're gonna go to like this little minnow setup on the. In fact, I'll tell you exactly what this is. Mr. Crappie, one sixteenth ounce. Uh, kind of like jig heads right here, right? White with a red eye. Mr. Crappie Glimmer Blue 2 inch lightning shad. Almost like minnows right here, okay? And I just fed that up onto the hook and I'm gonna just jig this guy back and forth and I got a feeling a little bait fish imitation might do something a little bit different. Maybe we get the first hit on this. It will be interesting to see. So that worm was definitely moving nice and slow in the water. This is gonna kind of get their attention, maybe draw them in. I don't know. I don't know what they're wanting today, but we're gonna try and find out. All right, y'all, the ice is becoming increasingly more and more unsafe out here. Ryan Rigged and I just got off the water. Be sure to check them out down below. We tried our best to get on some fish in Texas today for you guys. While it is uh, the only time we've ever had, uh, quote, safe ice in the lands. Anyways, we're fishing the Frisco Commons Pond today. It's been a while since we've hit this. Some of my earlier videos were here. In fact, one of my earlier ones that kind of like not popped off, but <laughs> did well, I guess, for me was at this pond. And uh, since then, it uh, has never looked like this. So you've seen it all four seasons, I guess you could say, over here on the channel. Anyways, we are making our way out of here, y'all. Get home, do some editing, and uh, finally post some stuff. I haven't posted as many videos lately because uh, we've been dealing with uh, this winter storm out here. And it's been increasingly difficult to get out and fish, which is our usual content. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Something different entirely from the norm. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace, y'all. <gasps>